Truman Scholarship is basically a public service award and it gives it to students who are passionate about going into public service. So whether it's politics, law, public policy, there's like so many different ways that you could use a scholarship to go about those different fields. And I'm hoping to go into law um, and hopefully get my PhD in forced refugee migration studies. So I think the scholarship would be really valuable for that. It all started with the Chelgren Center for Undergraduate Excellence. I remember Dr. Pat Whitlow and Dr. Philip Kramer, you know, they were talking to a bunch of UK students and they were saying, you know, you guys have the ability to achieve what you want to achieve. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter, you know, what, what you want to do. Like, you could do it. And I think when you're really passionate about something, you could find a way to do it. And to not let obstacles deter you from accomplishing those things, that's something I would want every student to know, is that if I could do it, anyone could do it. <laughs>So I recently won the Astronaut Scholarship. Um, it's a nationally competitive award given to undergraduates in the STEM fields. When I graduate from UK, I plan to pursue an MD-PhD program. My dream would be uh, to make some sort of contribution to the field of aging that I could help increase health span, right? Like keep people healthy longer. And that's really what, what drives me. I really want to be able to see people live healthy lives for a long time. I don't know a lot of other universities that would allow somebody like me who is just a you know senior at a high school to start research this early so UK's been huge in that So the Thomas R. Pickering Fellowship is a foreign affairs fellowship named after Ambassador Pickering. And what it does is it celebrates diversity in the foreign service and provide a graduate education for them and then provide them with mentoring in order to make them better foreign service officers in their professional careers. Uh, so obviously I was, I was very surprised. Uh, working with uh, Dr. Whitlow, uh, was, we were talking about whether I was the first or maybe I wasn't, we weren't sure, and then whenever I got the news that I had won it, uh, the Washington Center also said that I was the first from the university to receive it. And it means a lot because I don't look at this as necessarily just an honor for me, I look at it as, a, a, as opening a door for other uh, Kentucky students to hopefully apply and win the fellowship as well, uh, and hopefully bring Kentucky some more Pickering Fellows in the future. I was awarded a U.S. Student Fulbright Research Grant um, to go do field work in Armenia. I will specifically be working in the capital in Yerevan and I will be interviewing ethnic Armenian women from Syria and as well as non-governmental organizations and government workers. The Office of Nationally Competitive Awards helped me a lot with the application in terms of any questions I had. Dr. Willow was completely receptive to helping me with that as well as helping me decide to, what to put in my essays and other um, aspects in the application. I uh, am a finalist for the Fulbright Scholarship and I will be going to Venezia, Ukraine. Uh, I am an ETA, so that's an English teaching assistant, and I'll be teaching students. I'll likely be an assistant teacher, not teaching my own class, but I'll likely be an assistant teacher uh, teaching English there. My research project that I intend to do is going to be um, media studies and media's impact on society and possibly the war in the Donbass. Lieutenant Colonel Cummins came up to me and he said, Dahlia, would you be interested in applying for a scholarship at some point for grad school? I said, well, yes, of course, I'm very interested. And he said, well, I have a contact named Dr. Whitlow who takes potential scholarship applicants under her wing and guides them along the way. My first choice of study is the University of Glasgow in Scotland. I hope to stay in their War Studies department and receive a Master's in War Studies during the academic year of 2015 to 2016. The second year I will transfer to King's College London where I'll pursue a master's in intelligence and international security. I learned how to jump out of army aircraft and from that point forward I've been looking at combat branches that would allow women in. I actually just branched field artillery so once I return from my Marshall scholarship I will become a field artillery officer.